Okay, let me ask you this question, sabotaging their program. How many nuclear weapons does Iran have as of today? Right now, I hope none. Okay, how many does Israel have? No idea. No idea? You were in the government. They don't tell you that stuff. No idea. Who do they tell? No idea. I'm telling you, I uh, never discussed it. But it's, it's irrelevant. It's between, you never discussed Israel's nuclear weapons. You can say that hand on heart, you've never discussed Israel's nuclear weapons. You're expecting us to believe that the Deputy Foreign Minister of Israel never discussed Israel's nuclear deterrent. Seriously, then? No. So let, let me tell you, no. It's not all slogans and sound bites, Mehdi. Tell yourself. I did friend. not discuss Israel nuclear weapons. I did discuss Israel nuclear policy. There is a big difference. Okay. Okay. How many <laughs> nuclear weapons does Israel have? Because experts say it's anywhere between 80 and 400. So what? So, so what? what? Yeah. So what? Do you recognize the hypocrisy of Israel no. having a secret illicit nuclear weapons program that it won't open up its doors to and won't talk about and then lecturing everyone else in the region Absolutely about nuclear weapons? Absolutely not. So let's start with the legal and formal. Yeah. Israel has never been a member, a signatory of the NPT. So we are not breaking any rules. <sighs> Iran was, Iraq was, Syria is, and they all try to, to cheat. Ah, so we one. never recognize the laws of the first place. No, okay, secondly, get out. Israel is the only country in the world who has been, right, threatened to just erase them. Has Israel ever threatened to erase and attack any country? Uh, I no. think you'll find plenty no, of pretty no. genocidal statements from Israeli show it, leaders. Show it to me. Shimon Iran, Peres said in response to Mahmoud Ahmadinejad that we could wipe Iran, Iran has every day threatening to erase I'm not Israel. About Iran. I'm asking about Israel's Saddam nuclear Saddam Hussein program. said he would burn the entire country of Israel. Okay. Assad. Hamas. If an Iranian guest came on my show and I asked him about Iran's nuclear program, he said, I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to talk about it. Would you be okay with that? You'd be outraged. Of course and I would And you be. sit here as a former of minister of the Israeli because, government saying, oh, I don't know, I never talked be. about nukes because, with anyone. Because there's, there was like 16 United Nations Security uh, 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 Council resolutions against Iran. And Iran there is against Israel. And, and there is against Israel as well. About about, about your nuclear, nuclear program? No. Yes, there is. UN so Resolution 487. Let me read it to you. The UN Security Council in 1981 says, calls upon Israel urgently to place its nuclear facilities under the safeguards of the IAEA. Why haven't you done that? Because... <laughs> I'll tell you all why. Because we want to live and survive. This is the only reason. Okay. Live and survive. But you are defying a UN Security it. Council resolution on your live secret nuclear weapons program. Live and survive. Program. That's it. Okay, uh, Avi Schleim, when Danny talks about the threat from Iran, do you recognize that language? How big a threat, in your view, is Iran to Israel today? Uh, Iran is not an existential threat to Israel, but it is a strategic threat. Now, let's compare the records of these two countries. Iran has never attacked a neighbor. Israel has repeatedly attacked its neighbors. Iran signed the non-proliferation treaty. Israel has refused to sign. Iran submits to inspection by the, by the International Nuclear Energy Agency. Israel refuses to submit. Iran has no nuclear weapons. Israel has between 75 and 400 nuclear weapons. So Israel poses an existential threat to Iran. Now, okay.